Stoichiometry lesson 5.2 Solving mole problems, converting grams to moles. You remember from the previous video that Avogadro's number is the number of particles in a mole. It could be molecules, it could be atoms. It is a number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Here's the number to more decimal places, 6.022-1367 times 10 to the 23. But for our purposes, 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles in a mole. When asked how much does a mole weigh, we have to realize that all moles contain the same number of particles, but don't necessarily weigh the same. Just like a dozen oranges weighs more than a dozen eggs, a mole of silver atoms weighs more than a mole of hydrogen atoms, because silver atoms each weigh more than hydrogen atoms. Moles of different substances weigh differently. A mole of water molecules weighs 18.0 grams. A mole of nitric acid molecules weighs 63.0 grams. They each contain the same number of molecules, 6.02 times 10 to the 23, but moles of different substances will have different masses because some molecules are heavier than others. Example number one, how many moles of water are there in 6.83 grams of water? We're asked to come up with the number of moles of water given only the number of grams. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, I know that water weighs 18.0 grams per mole. So if I have 6.83 grams of water, is that more or less than a mole? Well, since a mole weighs 18 grams, 6.83 grams of water weighs less than a mole. So I have less than a mole. I have some fraction of one mole of water. Our template for solving mole problems is exactly like our template for solving any dimensional analysis problems. We put wanted equals question mark and what we want, and then data or the given. And then when we set up the problem, we say question mark wanted equals data dot line. So let's use this template to solve the problem. Our wanted is question mark moles of water. Our given or data is 6.83 grams of water. We also need a conversion factor to convert between grams and moles of water. We know that 18 grams of water is equal to one mole of water. Now we're ready to set up the problem. Question mark moles of water equals 6.83 grams of water dot line. What we need to put in the denominator is the unit that's going to cancel out grams, which is 18.0 grams, which of course is equal to one mole of water. Notice that the grams cancel out, and we're left with 0 0.379 mole of water, which is slightly less than a third of a mole of water. Notice how we keep our answer in the same number of sig figs, which is three in this case. 6.83 grams of water is equal to 0 0.379 mole of water. Example number two. How many moles are contained in 6.83 grams of sucrose? C12H22O11. So first we need the wanted, which is the number of moles of sucrose, C12H22O11. And the given, or data, which is 6.83 grams of sucrose. Now, we need a conversion factor to relate the grams of sucrose to its moles. So we need the molar mass of sucrose. So let's calculate that. Sucrose is C12H22O11. A mole of carbon weighs 12.0 grams per mole. So 12 carbon atoms is 12 times 12.0 grams per mole, which is 144.0 grams per mole. 22 hydrogen atoms each weigh 1.0 grams per mole, so 22 of them would weigh 22.0 grams per mole. 
and each oxygen atom would weigh 16.0 grams per mole, so 11 times 16 is 176.0 grams per mole. So we add these together, and we find out that the molar mass of sucrose, the mass of one mole of sucrose, is 342.0 grams per mole. So now we know the conversion factor, that 342.0 grams of sucrose is equal to one mole of sucrose. Since one mole of sucrose weighs 342.0 grams, and we only have 6.83 grams of sucrose, you can see that we have far less than a mole of sucrose. Let's set up the problem. Remember, question mark wanted equals data dot line. Question mark moles of sucrose equals 6.83 grams dot line. What we put on the denominator of the conversion factor has to cancel out grams in the numerator. So let's put 342.0 grams of sucrose in the denominator, which equals one mole of sucrose in the numerator. Notice that the grams of sucrose cancel out. And when we do the math, 6.83 divided by 342 is 0.0200 mole. The number of moles of sucrose in 6.83 grams is indeed far less than one mole. It is 0.0200 mole. Problem number three. How many grams are equivalent to 21.3 moles of barium carbonate? Whereas the last problem, we determined the number of moles in a specified number of grams. Now we want to determine the number of grams in a specified number of moles. By now, you figured out that you're going to need the molar mass of barium carbonate. So we have 21.3 moles. One atom of barium weighs 137.3 grams per mole. One atom of carbon weighs 12.0 grams per mole, and three atoms of oxygen, each atom weighs 16.0 grams per mole, so that's three times 16, or 48.0 grams per mole. They total 197.3 grams per mole. We want to find out the number of grams of barium carbonate in 21.3 moles of barium carbonate. Our conversion factor is that one mole of barium carbonate weighs 197.3 grams. So if one mole weighs 197.3 grams, how many grams does 21.3 moles weigh? That should be 21.3 times as much. Well, let's set up our problem. Question mark grams barium carbonate equals given, which is 21.3 moles of barium carbonate, dot line. We want the units in the denominator of our conversion factor to cancel out moles barium carbonate. So we know that one mole of barium carbonate is equal to 197.3 grams of barium carbonate. The moles of barium carbonate cancel out, and we're left with grams. To calculate the answer to our problem, we multiply 21.3 times 197.3, and that will give us grams of barium carbonate which is 4.20 times 10 to the third grams. So we know that whereas one mole of barium carbonate weighs 197.3 grams, 21.3 moles of barium carbonate weigh 4.20 times 10 to the third grams. Now you try. Write down these two problems, solve them, and then come back to the video to check their solution. Problem number four, determine the number of moles of carbon dioxide in 454 grams of carbon dioxide. And problem number five, find the number of grams in 0 0.760 mole of sulfuric acid. Again, write these problems down. Pause the video now. Okay, let's solve these problems. Of course, we are going to need the molar mass of carbon dioxide. One atom of carbon weighs 12.0 grams. Two atoms of oxygen each weigh 16.0 grams for a total of 32.0 grams per mole. So carbon dioxide weighs 44.0 grams per mole. That means that if we have one mole of carbon dioxide, which is the same thing as 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules of carbon dioxide, they would weigh 44 grams. Setting up our problem, 
we're trying to find moles of carbon dioxide, we're given 454 grams of carbon dioxide. Since one mole weighs 44 grams, we're get, we have a lot more than one mole in 454 grams. In fact, we have more than 10 moles because 454 grams is more than 10 times as large as 44 grams. So let's set up the problem. Question mark wanted, question mark moles of carbon dioxide equals data, 454 grams of carbon dioxide dot line. We want to cancel out grams carbon dioxide, so we're going to put 44.0 grams of carbon dioxide in the denominator, which is equal to one mole of carbon dioxide in the numerator. We cancel out the units grams carbon dioxide, and we are left with 454 times 1 divided by 44, which is 10.3 moles of carbon dioxide. 44 grams of carbon dioxide is equal to 10.3 moles of carbon dioxide. Solution number five, find the number of grams in 0 0.760 moles of sulfuric acid. Again, to convert grams to moles, we're going to need the molar mass of sulfuric acid. We know that each atom of hydrogen weighs 1.0 grams, so hydrogen is 2.0 grams of sulfuric acid. An atom of sulfur weighs 32.1 grams per mole, and four atoms of oxygen is four times 16.0, which is 64.0 grams per mole. When we add them together, we find that sulfuric acid weighs 98.1 grams per mole. That means one mole of sulfuric acid weighs 98.1 grams. We want to know how many grams of sulfuric acid we have in 0 0.760 moles of sulfuric acid. We also know that one mole of sulfuric acid weighs 98.1 grams. Since we have 0 0.760 moles, which is less than a mole, we're going to have less than 98.1 grams. We set up the problem, question mark gram sulfuric acid equals 0 0.760 moles dot line. We want to put the unit that cancels out moles in the denominator of our conversion factor, which is going to be one mole of sulfuric acid, which is equal to 98.1 grams of sulfuric acid. The moles cancel out, and we're left with 74.6 grams of sulfuric acid. 74.6 grams of sulfuric acid is the weight of 0 0.760 moles sulfuric acid. This concludes Lesson 5.2 on converting grams to mole. Please proceed to Quiz 5.2 before continuing on to the next lesson.